Imagine reaching the peak of your acting career, and all of a sudden, your hair starts falling off, your whole body gets swollen, and you go partially blind. That's exactly what happened to African-American actress Pam Greer. But how did she manage to get over this mysterious illness? Keep on watching to find out. Pam got severely bullied in school. Pam Greer was born Pamela Suzette Greer on May 26, 1949 in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. The daughter of a nurse and technical sergeant in the Air Force came open about her race and has admitted that she is of mixed ancestry, namely of Hispanic, African-American, Filipino, Chinese, and Cheyenne heritage. Because of her father's military career, the family moved frequently to various places during her childhood. Greer even lived in England before eventually settling in Denver, Colorado, where she attended East High School. While in Denver, she participated in beauty contests and appeared in several stage productions to raise money for college tuition at the Metropolitan State College. In college, Greer went through bullying because of her mixed race. She even revealed that she was forced to do things she didn't want to for man's pleasure, her journey to winning the Oscars. Greer moved to Los Angeles, California in 1967 where she was initially hired to work with the switchboard at American International Pictures. She's believed to have been discovered by director Jack Hill, who cast her in his Woman in Prison film. Pam appeared in Big Dollhouse and The Big Bird Cage while under contract at AIP. She eventually became a staple of early 1970s black exploitation movies, playing big, bold, and assertive women. The actress became a box office success with the movies that she released with Jack Hill. Greer is considered to be the first African-American female to headline an action film because the protagonists of previous black exploitation films were males. In his movie review, critic Roger Ebert praised The Big Bird Cage for its impressive female lead. He noted that Greer was an actress with a very beautiful face and astonishing physique. He also added that she possessed a kind of lifelike appearance missing from many other attractive actresses. With the demise of black exploitation later in the 70s, Greer appeared in smaller roles for many years. She subsequently played a similar character in the AIP film Foxy Brown, Sheba Baby, and Friday Foster. Her early films, such as Women in Cages in 1971 and The Big Dollhouse, were both filmed in the same year in the Philippines. While she was there, she contracted a deadly tropical disease and nearly died. Greer lost her hair and was temporarily blind for almost a month. It took nearly a year for her to recover. Thankfully, she did and became a student at UCLA. She sang backup for singer and composer Bobby Womack. Interestingly, Womack's composition and 1972 recording of the song Across 110th Street was the theme song of the film Jackie Brown, released in 1997. This marked a major comeback for Greer in the starring role, and she was even nominated for a Golden Globe and an NAACP award. The peak of her career were her performances. She developed progressively with larger character roles in the 1980s, including a druggy hooker in Fort Apache, the Bronx, a character which is involved in Something Wicked. She next got herself involved in theater, and in 1985, Greer made her theater debut in Sam Shepard's Fool for Love at the Los Angeles Theater Center. Greer returned to film as Steven Seagal's detective partner in Above the Law. She then had a recurring role on Miami Vice from 1985 to 1989, and even made guest appearances on Martin Night Court and The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Next, Pam Greer got a recurring role in the TV series called Crime Story between 1986 and 1988. On the other hand, her role in Rocket Gibraltar was cut due to fears by the film's director, Daniel Petrie. He was afraid of the criticism that the film would receive from the interracial love scenes. After that, the actress went on to appear on Sinbad, Preston Chronicles, The Cosby Show, The Wayans Brothers Show, and Mad TV. In 1994, Greer appeared in Snoop Dogg's video called Doggy Dog World. And in the late 1990s, she became a cast member of the Showtime series, Lynx. Pam also appeared in John Carpenter's movie called Escape from L.A. In 1997, with the title role in Quentin Tarantino's Jackie Brown film that partly paid homage to her 1970s black exploitation movies, she was nominated for numerous awards. For her work in the Tarantino film, Greer appeared on Showtime's The L Word, in which she played Kit Porter. 
The series ran for six seasons and ended in March 2009, Pam's last years in TV. Recently, Greer has occasionally guest starred in such TV series as Law & Order SVU. In 2010, Greer began appearing in a recurring role in the hit science fiction series called Smallville, where she played the villain. Greer received an honorary doctorate of humane letters from the University of Maryland Eastern Shore in 2011. That same year, she also received an honorary doctorate of science from Langston University and then founded the Pam Greer Community Garden and Education Center with the National Multicultural Western Heritage Museum. The purpose Greer had for this was to teach people about organic gardening, health, and nutrition. Among other things, the museum named its first garden in honor of Greer in 2011. In January 2018, Greer revealed a biopic based on her memoir, as in the works such as Pam, The Adversity of Life, as something that every person's life must go through. The actress says adversity happens no one wants, but in fact, adversity is not a misfortune, but a gift that life has given us this life. It's neither short nor long, so you must cherish every moment of the present life. Optimistically, always have confidence in the future. That is the strength to help you get out of the deadlock and crisis in life. Consider today's difficulties and challenges only temporary. Trust that this life still gives us the opportunity and tell yourself that a bright tomorrow will soon come. Greer also added, everyone has their war in life. It's never easy, but it is important that we do not know and understand what others are facing, that we are always kind and sincere to each other, have new conditions to meet, have a new reason to love. If it's destiny already determined or not, you are just a passerby in someone else's life, and you can only walk along with others for a while. That is the finiteness that you give to others, then you can expect others to give you infinity. The actress's sad ending. A sister of Greer's died from cancer in 1990, and the son of her sister also committed suicide because of his mother's illness. This wasn't received well by Pam and stressed her out badly. She even felt partly guilty for not being able to be there for her sister's son. Pam herself was diagnosed with cancer in 1988 and given 18 months to live, which affected how she chose to live her last days. Surprisingly, Pam was never married. However, she has been romantically linked to Richard Pryor and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the past. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more daily videos such as this one. Thank you for watching.